Hey guys, my name is Jessica, and this is what my day normally looks like here at the Memphis Zoo, but I bet you'd be interested in seeing what other jobs look like. So come and join me, but I can't do it just like this. Hold on one second. Now we're ready. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a zookeeper at the Memphis Zoo? Well, today we're gonna go behind the scenes with Jenny, one of our elephant keepers, and we're gonna get down and dirty with her, scooping some poop, cleaning some elephants, and showing you what it takes to be a zookeeper. So what are we about to do? Yeah, we got here, we've made diets, and then it's time to bring the elephants in so they can have breakfast and get their baths, and the best part of the day is get our workout in and clean the yard. Ooh, can't wait. <laughs> She's in. in. It's an elephant right there. <laughs> There's elephants everywhere. <laughs> There's elephants everywhere. <laughs> what do you think about that? I feel overwhelmed. <laughs> They're huge. And you see everything the light touches, you'll get to clean up. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you for all the poop. Girl, Ossily. Ossily, did you find a random piece of food? Girl, come on, <laughs> move up. Get one as you pass go. All right. That is a big animal. So now that we've shifted our two girls inside, there's still two more outside, but while they're out of those yards, we can get in there and clean. Everybody has some hay while they're waiting on us to clean. And then once we're done with that, we can bathe those girls that went inside the barn. Awesome, well, let's get cleaning. Do it to it. So everywhere we see poo, you can pick it up and I'll start raking the hay as you're pitchforking. Okay. Some heavy poop. Elephants are herbivores, so the only things they're eating are obviously plant matter. Okay. Each of our girls eats about 130 pounds of food every day, and the bulk of that is hay. Um, so you notice there are a ton of barrels around, so we stuff those with hay. Gotcha. A lot of people see the barrels and they're like, how do the elephants reach that? And you're so mean <laughs> for making them do that. And it is but they enjoy how they're, it. it's how they're made to eat. It's a, encouraging natural behaviors for them. Awesome. So they, it's fun for them. Like yeah. They, they prefer to eat up high than down low. Yeah, they're made for that. Okay, the wheelbarrow is all yours. We will head to the okay. next area. I'm ready. Which is looking like just hay. So you can see that their yard is obviously solid sand and dirt, which is an awesome substrate for their feet and their joints. They love to roll in the mud. There are grasses in areas, but they obviously eat it and trample it down. <laughs> so not as soft. This is our wheelbarrows of poo and hay. And this is mine. That's the pros. Amanda did a little bit more than me, just a little, but 14 years experience. Yeah, I mean, for my first day, that was okay. You did good. <laughs> You're gonna bring this, you want the lip to hit the edge so it doesn't go in, but if it goes over, <laughs> just let it fall. We're gonna move Daisy and Bombi across to the clean yard so then we can clean the last yard. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Beep, beep. All right, let's see how much wheelbarrow two weighs. Wheelbarrow one was kind of puny. We're gonna back up. Use some momentum. We're gonna run. Okay. Hey, it's 460. That's more than I thought. <laughs> nice. Got it! I win! <laughs> so you just finished cleaning all three elephant yards after they were in those yards all night. 
How do you feel? I feel, um, I feel it. It? I feel it <laughs> right here, right there. I got some sweat, Yeah. but I feel good. I, That's good. I think I could do two more. Yeah, you've earned some elephant time now. <laughs> Let's do it. Can we do like, what are we gonna do? So we're gonna move on and bathe Gina. All right. Yeah. It's gonna get a little, a little wet yeah. up in there. It okay, cool. I need might a cool splash. <laughs> I could use it. Um, if you just turn it on all the way. Do you want a drink? <laughs> like I said, so, start from her head oh, and work your way down. You're a good girl, Dina Bina. And you can kind of see the mud coming off like yeah. over it all. Dina ear. So you can come and do behind her ear. Steady, Dina. You can put her like behind it, not in it. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, Dina. The girl Dina Bina. So this is just to get that layer of mud yeah. off. So their baths are a good exercise for one. You'll see she does a lot of stuff, but it's a good chance for us to check them from head to tail to make sure they don't have any weird nicks or bumps or bruises. We check their feet, which is really crucial to elephant care. And then we can also see how they're feeling that day because their baths are always the same. So if for some reason they're moving slower or don't want to do something, that may be a sign that they're maybe feeling sick. All right, I'm going to turn her and okay. you're going to uh, grab her tail. Okay. It, don't let it hit you in the face. And I go softer. Yeah. All right, Gina, turn. Gina, turn. Good girl. Good, still come over here. Daddy, Gina. Gina, tail. <laughs> Gina, tail. <laughs> and don't grab the hairs, just grab the tail itself. Good, steady, tail. Good. That is not what I thought it was going to feel like. Good, Gina. Gina, down. So graceful. <laughs> I'm going to throw this directly in her mouth, too. You're a good girl, Dina Bina. You're a good girl. They can pretty much go on autopilot on their back. They know what we're going to ask. It's the same every time. <laughs> Done it a few times. Do they get a bath every day? Yeah. Good, Gina. Steady. All right, so we got them bathed, we got them fed. What's yep. next? So now that they are satisfied with breakfast and clean, we will go outside. We'll get their hay ready for the day so we can set them up to graze. And so the guests come into the zoo can see them and enjoy seeing the elephants hang out. Fun stuff, let's get them ready. Yeah, so we're gonna put all this hay in each barrel so they can graze and forage, which is what elephants are made to do. Gotcha, so they reach up. How high is this? You know, I'm not actually sure how tall it is, but each of our girls is around eight feet at the shoulder blades, and then their trunks are normally about six feet. Okay. So they can very easily reach up there, no problem. And they'll even step on the ledge to get closer. Gotcha, and so they'll just pull out the hay and stuff it in their mouth. Yep. <laughs> All right, so just stuff it. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> like you made it sound so easy. <laughs> <laughs> And then we pull the chain to the top and you clip that back on that. It's been quite a morning. Yeah. Is this every day for you? Yeah. In all weather, no matter what's going on, all holidays, we do exactly what you did every day. Yeah. Well, and then after our morning, you, your most important part of your day is coming with the keeper chat, right? Yeah. Definitely. So can you tell me a little bit about what you talk about in the keeper chat and why it's so important to do those? For sure. So um, the biggest part of a modern zookeeper's day is conservation education. So we take awesome care of our elephant herd here, but we just need to remind everybody the elephants in the wild are not doing well. So while they have really good lives here in Memphis, we need to help remind and talk about how they are not surviving and thriving in the wild like they should be. How can people get involved with conservation at the zoo? 
So definitely coming here and supporting zoos is an awesome way. Um, but beyond that, we also do an annual fundraiser called Art for Elephants, where 100% of the proceeds go to Elephants for Africa. So that is directly benefiting um, conservation efforts for elephants in the wild. All right, Jenny, cheers. I think we deserve a popsicle. Yeah. All right, well, we hope to see you all at the Memphis Zoo. Come see our herd and Jenny.